All right, everyone, today I wanted to go over what has easily been the number one most requested topic to make a video about, and I wanted to go over a important list of things that you want to make sure that you're doing in Lost Ark every single day, kind of a daily checklist type video, and I have a list here of things that you want to do, and we're going to start off with the most important ones to kind of work down through the list. So on your main character especially, make sure that you do these things because a lot of them are limited. You can only do them a certain amount of times each day. And a lot of these things are also time sensitive. You can only actually do them at certain times throughout the day. So let's go ahead and start off here. And the first thing that I want to mention on the list is one that you might not actually expect to be here at the top, but I wanted to put this at the top because it just takes a couple of seconds. And it's one of those things that your guild is going to absolutely hate you if you accidentally forget to do this. So the first thing is going to be all of your just guild check-in type stuff. If you open up the community page and you go to guild, one of them is going to be the guild donations. Um, obviously, this is going to be guild dependent, but for my guild, for example, I just ask people to do the silver one. Um, it's going to help the guild out a lot. It takes just a quick second to click this button here, and it's also going to give you bloodstones, which you can use and exchange them in the bloodstone shop, which I actually talked about in a video the other day. So that's one thing that you want to do. The other one is if your guild is running like a research task right here, make sure that you click the support research, click the normal support one. Again, it's going to be up to your guild if they want you to do anything else. But the one thing I will say, very similar to what I said in the videos the other the last couple of days, is just find the guild for the right play style that you have. If you're a more active player, try to find a guild that's going to suit that if you're more casual just find a guild that's going to be okay with that either way though whether you're active or casual try to at least log in each day and do these quick things because they literally only take like 10 15 seconds and your guild is going to be very frustrated if you forget to do these things so that's the first thing on the list right there now let's move on to a couple of things that you might already be a bit familiar with I'm actually standing right next to it right here. And the next one is the Chaos Dungeon. You get two runs of this each and every day on each character. So if you do have alts, you also want to try to do your Chaos Dungeons on your alts. And you can see here, just as an example, if you forget to do your Chaos Dungeons, they don't completely go to waste. Um, you get two runs a day. And for every run that you don't do on a character, it's going to give you 10 rest bonus. And for every 20 rest bonus, you're going to get basically double the rewards for the next Chaos Dungeon. So... Basically, any runs that you don't do each day, you're going to end up losing out on basically half the rewards and half the efficiency. So, you know, at least you get something back out of it if you do forget, but you still want to try to make sure that you're doing that stuff every single day. Next up, right next to the Chaos Dungeons is going to be your Guardian Raids. Very similar to Chaos Dungeons, you get two runs each day. And when you actually go into a Guardian Raid, you're going to have the option to harvest soul or not. This is basically going to be like your rewards and your daily limits. So if you click Harvest Soul, it's going to consume one of these souls here, and that's going to give you what the majority of your rewards are. And once again, if you forget, you're going to get 10 rest bonus, and for every 20 rest bonus, you actually get the option to harvest two souls from a Guardian Raid instead of one, so you lose out on half the efficiency if you forget to do these each day. So try to do them if you can. Next up on the list here is going to be something that I haven't really talked a whole lot about in any videos yet, but that is your Unis tasks. And you actually get three of these each day on each character, and you want to try to do these each and every day, because not only do they give you really, really good rewards, but they're also going to end up giving you reputation here. And once you get to certain reputation levels with your Unis tasks, they're going to give you even more rewards. And you get some really nice stuff here. You get permanent stats. You can see here, like potions that give you permanent additional crit chance. So this is something that you're going to be wanting want to be working on um, just for your overall account progress i'll get more into detail in this in a separate video because i've already got way too much stuff to talk about in this daily checklist here but um, one thing that i will mention is besides the reputation another popular one that people like to, to go for for your unis tasks are going to be um, tasks that give you these leap stones because you're always going to be limited on leap stones and also tasks that give you shards harmony shards life shards these are two very limited resources in lost ark and so using your unis tasks to not only get reputation rewards but also to accumulate more um, leap stones and shards is going to be um, a really nice way to help progress your account so you get three of those each day each character Next up on the list here is going to be a really important one, but it's going to be one of the ones that might be a little bit more confusing. It might take a little bit more effort to kind of keep up to date with this, and that is going to be all of your time-sensitive calendar stuff. I want to mention a couple in particular that are really important, and one of those is the Chaos Gate. Chaos Gate 
is a co-op event where basically it spawns throughout the world. You wanna to go to the one that actually is appropriate for your item level, and it's not every single day. You're gonna to have to check the calendar to see what kind of events here are actually going, but especially if there's things like chaos gates and world bosses that are gonna be active that day, you wanna make sure that if you are gonna be playing Lost Ark, in those specific times that you attend one of those because you can only get the rewards for these once per day if it's actually running that day and they give really really nice stuff they have the possibility to drop treasure maps which uh you know are going to net you a lot of gold you get other resources and just like chaos dungeons it's something that takes just a few minutes that gives you a lot of really really useful stuff that you want to make sure that you try to get in on if you can but you have to keep up to date with the calendar because every single day not only what events are going to be going is going to be different like some days there are no chaos gates some days there are no world bosses um, but also the times that they actually spawn are going to be different each day as well. So this is just something that you're going to have to get used to. Make sure that you try to check this each day and kind of see what things throughout your day and your schedule you can actually attend because they give some really, really nice stuff. So that's the next thing on the list. Next up, I want to talk about something that you want to try to make sure not to actually do each day. You want to be checking in on your trade skills and making sure that your trade skill energy here doesn't actually get to 10,000. So you can see that I'm at 8,000 right now. I'm getting pretty close. And at some point throughout today, I have on my daily checklist, make sure to go out there and use at least some of this work energy because you regenerate this over time. You can see 33 work energy restored per 10 minutes. You get plus three with the crystalline orb. And if you end up getting to the maximum of 10,000, you are no longer benefiting from that regeneration that you get. So you just lose out on that efficiency. That's a free resource that you get just by being logged in or not logged in just by not having it be at max so if you're getting to the territory of having it actually reach to max you want to go out there burn up some of this work energy and another nice thing as well if you want to be super efficient and kind of knock out two birds with one stone if you're in a guild and your guild has a weekly task to go out and like do excavating or uh, mining or logging or some sort of trade skill you can actually kind of knock out two things at once you can help your guild out get guild rewards and also burn up some of your trade energy at the same time. So um, that's something you want to make sure that you don't let get to 10,000. Now, the next thing here, I'm actually traveling so I can show you guys as an example. Um, the next thing is to use your rapport actions. Your um, And I'll show you here in the rapport menu if we actually go to rapport and we go to an NPC. You can see for rapper action, you get a certain limited amount of times that you can play instrument and a certain limited times that you can play emote. Looks like you get an extra one with the crystalline aura as well, but you only get a certain amount of these each day. So what you want to try to do, and we're pretty far down the list. So if you forget to do this during a day, it's not as big of a deal as say, you know, forgetting your guild check-in or forgetting your chaos dungeons or whatnot. But still, if you have the extra time, you want to try to go out there to whatever NPCs that you're trying to build rapport with and that you end up using these limited actions. And you can see, just as an example, I have to lower my webcam for this. Um, if you play instrument for this NPC, it's going to give you a certain amount of rapport depending on what song. And if you if you do an emote as well, it's going to also give you rapport. Now, you might not have the certain instruments or the certain songs or emotes for each NPC. So you have to keep in mind that as you just overall progress your account, do your islands, unlock more songs, unlock more emotes, you're going to have more access to more NPCs that you can do this because just as an example, like this NPC, I don't actually have the proper emote, so I can't use one of my daily emote counts on this NPC. I'd have to go to somebody else. But as I progress my account and I unlock these, I'll be able to do this with more NPCs. So that's next up on the list right there. And the last thing that I want to kind of end off on is something else that I haven't done because I, I'm just actually logging in for the day and I haven't really done a lot of my daily routine stuff so it worked out well to make this type of video but that is to just check in on your stronghold um, you know make sure that your stronghold action energy also doesn't get to max let's actually just move to my stronghold here so I can show you if you look in the upper right you can see the little house icon if there's a number next to it that's a sign that you haven't actually checked in on something with your stronghold. You've also got your merchant that shows up to your stronghold every six hours. So if you're good about checking that, you can get some good deals there and get some nice stuff. But just making sure that you don't max out your stronghold, um, your stronghold energy, just like your life skill energy. Make sure that you're keeping up with your, um, you know, your lab, your workshop, your station all this sort of stuff here. Um, you know, you want to constantly be keeping an eye on this throughout the day. It's not the biggest deal if you end up forgetting for a few hours. 
Um, it happens all the time. It's, it's not the end of the world, but it's something you want to be mindful of and be working on kind of while you're doing other stuff on your account. So I wanted to fit it in there at the end of this video. But man, I talked about a lot of stuff here in under 10 minutes. So I'm going to leave it here. And I hope that this daily checklist helped out. There's obviously other stuff that you want to do, but I felt like these were the more important things that I wanted to fit into this list here. So I'm hoping, especially to those of you guys who are still kind of getting into Lost Ark, this type of video helped out a lot. So if it did and you enjoyed, consider leaving a quick like consider subscribing to the channel for more videos like this in the future. Really do appreciate the insane amount of support, guys. It's been absolutely incredible. Thank you guys so much for enjoying, liking, and subscribing to all the Lost Ark videos. Plenty more to come, and also feel free to check out the Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash salt, where I'll be playing Lost Ark as well as other games. Thank you guys for checking that out, and just have a fun time, everyone. Enjoy Lost Ark, and I'll see you all soon. Take care, everyone.